Hey, what's up guys, Steven here, and welcome back to another video. And today we're going to install the Google mobile services, including the Google Play Store on the Huawei P40 Pro Plus. So, well, I'm using Google mobile services and the Play Store since the release on the P40 Pro. And today I'll bring you the most up-to-date guide, step-by-step, -step, easy to use for the P40 Pro Plus. So I would say, Let's go. Alrighty guys, so let me quickly show you what you have to do on your computer. So first of all, a little bit of preparation. Make sure you download the High Suite app from um, the link I'll leave you down below in the description. It's basically the computer software you need to communicate with the P40 Pro. Then there is the Tech Magnet P40 Hack Gum zip file. Make sure you download that. And also make sure you download an extraction tool. You can use the Windows tool or WinRA. I'll leave you links down below in the description. And now you just right click um, the zip file and you go to extract here. And this will actually give you a folder which is called APK and a folder that is called backup file. Now, first of all, make sure that High Suite is installed on your computer and then right click the Huawei P40 Pro um, with the date and right click it, copy it. And now you go to your computer. If you don't have a shortcut on your desktop, you can actually enter my PC here into the Windows search. So my space PC, then you will get to your PC and there you will find the folder documents. And in here you will find the folder high suite. And there you go to backup. And in here you have to copy in the folder um, you have just extracted. So just drag and drop it in there. Then you have the backup um, in high suite. Alrighty guys, now we have to connect the smartphone to the computer, so make sure you unlock it. Now on your smartphone, so on your computer, um, a few windows will pop up. So first of all, you can close um, the file transfer window and leave High Suite open. Now on your smartphone, you have to um, give High Suite access to your phone. So you can do that by simply swiping down, going to the settings, and in the settings you have a search. Here you enter HDB and allow High Suite to use HDB. And here you have to enable allow High Suite to use HDB. Okay, so now this window will probably pop up again, but yeah, that's pretty cool. And here in um, High Suite, you will get a notification that it will be installed on your smartphone as well. So make sure you hit the OK button and it's now installing um, High Suite on your smartphone. So on your smartphone, make sure to proceed by um, tapping next, agree, allow, 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 allow. And then you will get a verification code. You have to enter that verification code here into the software. So seven. then just hit the connect button. And then as you can see, you should actually see the display of your phone. So now when you have copied um, the folder to the right place, you can actually go to restore here. And then as you can see, here's the file path again. You will see here um, restoring three apps. You just go to restore. Here you have to enter the password and as you can see it's tag magnet YouTube but instead the E there's a three and there we go. And as you can see it's now restoring the files so this can take a little bit of time. Complete you will get a green tick and now you're done in the software. So we have um, the GMS installer now on the smartphone. Now you have to copy the APKs to your smartphone, so make sure that file transfer is actually switched on. And then you go to your PC again, but first of all, you just copy the APKs. You can copy the whole folder, but it's better to just copy all the APKs. Just copy them, go to your smartphone, internal storage, and just um, paste them here directly to the internal storage. So, well, now actually when you check out your phone screen, on your phone you should now have that G for the LC Play Installer and a few other applications that I have um, copied, not on purpose, but they were in my, in my update package. But you can later uninstall them, so no worries about that. Alrighty guys, um, now it's time to go to the smartphone and continue with the rest of the installation. Alrighty guys, back to the show. We're now here on the smartphone and let's do the Google installation. You will find now those three apps on the smartphone. First of all, the Aurora Store, which is um, an alternative to the Google Play Store then the Google Play installer and a device ID app, which I'll explain in a second. Now, first of all, you're gonna open up um, the Google Play installer app. Make sure you hit the activate button here right now for the device administrator. Hit allow and press the blue bar. Now, 
Um, as you can see, it will start to download something, but that will obviously not work. So you just swipe it away and go back to the main menu. Now you go to the file explorer right over here, so that orange button there. You go to categories, you go to internal storage, you go to APKs and you start to install the first six APKs. So we start with the first one. Here, just um, tick don't ask me again and there we go. So then we're gonna install the second one and there we go. Now the GMS core mod A, there we go. So this can take a little bit longer. It's like the biggest application and can take up to a minute, so don't panic. Then now we install the Play Store number four and there we go. Now we install the shared library, there we go. And now we install the Google Account Manager, really important, because this is um, that we can actually log into Google. So for now, you just simply um, swipe it to the back and you go to the settings. In the settings, you go all the way down to users and accounts, add an account, and here you've, you will find Google. Now, please guys, log in with all your Google accounts. Also, if you change your password later, you would have to redo everything, like to go back to the first um, step, so where you install all the APKs. Otherwise, you cannot access the Google account manager anymore. So this is really important. Don't forget any account. Make sure you add anything right now which you want to add. And this is what I will do right now. Now, if you have two-step verification, then you need to have another phone where you actually grant access to it. So I have an iPhone right over here, so when I log in, I will actually get a message on the iPhone to approve the login. So make sure that you do that. I will quickly log in. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so when you now go to users and accounts in Google, you will find all your Google accounts right over here. But don't press sync all right now, because we're actually going to do that later. Now you go to files and you install the Google services framework. Then we basically have everything on the phone to run the Google Play Store but you will get some notifications. So we're gonna run the Google Play Store for now and make sure that you can actually connect to the Google Play Store. So you have to press the retry button probably a couple of times until um, you can actually access the Google Play Store. So don't worry about the notifications. We'll later make them go away. And there we go. So make sure, okay, I'll just simply mute it right now. Um, yeah, make sure the Google Play Store is working, that you can access anything. And now you're gonna open up the device ID application. And now it's actually really important that you get a Google Services Framework ID. So make sure you actually browse the Google Play Store for enough time until the smartphone generates this GSF ID. So as you can see, it's not here right now, but we need one. All right, so then I actually realized that this device ID is not working on some of the devices. On my other P40 Pro, the other device ID app was working, but here only another app is working. So this one doesn't display anything. So this is why you go to the Google Play Store and you search for device ID and you will find this one here from VTAC and you just download it and make sure you see a number in here. So if you can actually see um, this device ID, then this means that everything until now is correct. And now we're gonna make the device ID disappear by um, actually uninstalling the Google services framework. So I'll quickly show you um, how to do that. So you go to the settings, you go all the way to apps, and you can also disconnect from the internet right now. This sometimes helps. Then um, in the apps, you actually go at the top here to apps, you search for Google, and here you press the three dots and you go to show system processes and you will find the Google services framework. Now what you do is you go to storage, you clear the data and then the cache is also cleared. Then you force stop the application and there we go. And then you uninstall this application. So what you will see right now, if you go to device ID, actually it's still here. So you should wait a little bit because it should actually disappear after we have uninstalled the Google Services Framework. So there we go. So if you still have the ID after uninstalling the Google Framework, then you just simply reboot your phone and as you can see, the ID is now gone, so it's not here anymore. What we do right now is we're gonna actually install um, the Google Services Framework again. So we go to internal storage. You're gonna make sure you install the Google Services Framework right now. And there we go. 
All right, it's installed right now. And now we open up device ID and as you can see, there is no GSF, GSF ID right now because it gets generated when we open up the Play Store. Now we're gonna go back to um, the settings. We go to apps, we go to apps again and we search for Google and here you will find the Google Play services. So what you do right, right now is you force stop them and you uninstall them. All right, then now we go back to files and we install the second mod, so number eight. And there we go. So now, really important, make sure you connect to the internet and you open up the Google Play Store and check if it's working. And I mean really working. That means um, if you actually can see all the apps right over here and if you get a sign in error, that's okay but you shouldn't get too many of those not certified notifications. If you get not certified notifications, then there is something wrong. If you get sign in errors, like for me, for my business domains, this is completely normal. I had three accounts, two business accounts, one normal account. Business accounts are a mess, um, but the normal account is working fine. So now you're gonna check device ID. And as you can see, this is a really buggy solution. So the app is right now not working. That means another reboot. Alrighty guys, the app decided to not work anymore, so you're gonna uninstall the application and you're gonna reinstall it now from the Play Store. So sorry for that, but you know, it's really, really different on every phone and this is a brand new software on the P40 Pro Plus. So, um, actually the app is working right now and as you can see, the GSF ID is generated. So that is good for now. And also at this step, because we are before the last step, you shouldn't get any more Google notifications as you can see right now. So when you have a business account, you do get login notifications, but you shouldn't get any, this device is not Google Play protected um, notifications because if you get them at this step, then you did something wrong. This is really, really important. So at this step, there shouldn't be any notifications when you open up the Google Play Store. If you get anything like uncertified, you have to go one step back, or actually two steps and uninstall um, the services and also um, clear the data from the framework, reinstall the framework and do it again. Or simply reset your phone if you don't know where you stop because this can be really confusing. So the last step right now to fix this whole mess is actually we go to apps, we go to apps again, we search for Google and there we go, Goo, Google Play services. Now they already stopped, that's good. Now we're gonna uninstall them. Deactivate and uninstall if you have business accounts. Well, this is a little bit tricky. Then you go to files, then you go to internal storage again, you go to the APKs and you install the GMS Core Mod C. That's the last one. But now really, really important. Don't open up the Google Play Store you can also disconnect from the internet if you want to, but also just reboot your phone before you do anything else. Do not open up the Google Play Store, do not open up any application. After this is finished, just simply reboot your phone and do nothing. If you get notifications right now, it's already over and you have to restart. I know it is very, very confusing, but if you get this once right from the beginning, also trust me guys, with future software updates, with future Google updates, this won't kill your Google installation. So ladies and gentlemen, we are done. It's incredible. As you can see, open up the Google Play Store. I get my updates. I have Google Play Protect on and I don't get any notifications. I will now quickly set up the phone to fit my needs and then I'll show you what is working. Banking apps, Netflix, YouTube. And I'll really show you that those things are working, what is not working. So you can decide if you want to buy the phone and do this installation or just simply get another phone so it's your choice all right now here it is just a little bit customized um, to fit my needs and I have most of the applications on there and I'll quickly show you what works on the smartphone now first of all after you have finished the hack you can uninstall device ID you don't need that anymore you can also uninstall the other device ID application if you have installed it and very very important make sure to uninstall that G right over here so Sometimes it doesn't work to uninstall it from here. Then you just go to the settings, you go to apps, you go to apps again, and you scroll all the way down until you find the Chinese app right over here and make sure you uninstall it. This will automatically deactivate the device administrator which has those permissions. So it's really important to do that at the end. So make sure to um, deactivate and uninstall this app and boom, 
you are done. The account manager needs to stay on your smartphone. That's very important. If you delete it, you cannot sign in anymore. So just drag and drop it into a folder where you don't see it and that's it. Now, as you can see, I still get those notifications because they are for my business domain. So as you can see for um, the tech magnet domain. For my other um, Google account, my private YouTube, uh, private Google account, there is no issue. There are no notifications. I'm working on a workaround for that um, with a new account manager because the outdated version, there seems to be some issues and also with the um, Android device policy, which I'm currently playing around with. So um, I'll probably make an extra video on that because it doesn't target too many people. Anyhow, you can see here my Google folder. The Google Play Store, as I've told you, is fully working. I've downloaded all the, the applications from the Play Store. Google Home is working perfectly nice, so I can see all my devices, I can control all my devices. That is working absolutely great. Google Photos is working, Google Drive is working for my normal accounts, for the business accounts. Well, as I've told you, I have to do a workaround. Um, yeah, Google Ads, Hangouts, Maps is working, perfectly nice. Some people also asked me if Uber is working, and yes, no problem at all. So Uber with Google Maps integration is working. The Tesla app is working really important for my for my car, so that wouldn't work without Google Access because it needs that for the maps. Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram, TikTok, so all my favorite um, social media accounts, they are right now working, downloaded from the Google Play Store for sure. Then there's also Google Pay. Now some people said Google Pay is not even installing, but that's actually not true. I can quickly show you that, it should be under money. And Google Pay is right over here, so here you can see it. It actually opens up, actually under payment, you can see my cards. I haven't tried to pay with the card, but you can do um, set up contactless, so it doesn't throw an error yet. So yeah, I'm pretty curious about that. PayPal is working, my bank um, is working, that's really important. Now, most of the big banks are already in the app gallery, so you can also download it from there, but I have no problem accessing my account from my smartphone, and that is good. Then, um, for instance, Netflix, you cannot install it from the Google Play Store in some regions. That's why I have bundled the Aurora Store for you guys, so you can check it out. It's an alternative to the Play Store, and while I cannot find Netflix in my Google Play Store, I can actually find it here and install it and Netflix is also working as you can see so I can just open it up and there we go so I can just start to watch some movies and no problem at all so well actually this Google workaround is working really good but you need to do it correct from the first step otherwise well you will have some issues with the smartphone other than that you can also use phone clone to transfer data from your old smartphone or apps from your old smartphone to the p40 pro which can be very useful so um yeah that's basically it that was the whole google installation i really hope that i helped you guys and don't worry too much about no Google services on the P40 Pro. With this installation, you can get them. You can actually install all the applications. You can access Google Mail, as I can show you right over here. Google Chrome is working. So that's actually really, really nice. And when you in uninstall the application and you just keep the Google Account Manager, it is also really safe. Now, I really hope that this was useful for you guys and that you can now enjoy your brand new P40 Pro or Pro Plus, like in this case and yeah when you buy accessories for the p40 pro plus um, keep in mind that p40 accessories are not working i have a really crappy screen protector which is actually for p40 doesn't 100 percent fit on the p40 pro and the same here for the cover so i had to cut out a little bit here with a knife in order to make it work so yeah that's it the full review of the p40 pro it's now ready for the review will come very soon including a camera test so stay tuned and if this video was helpful please like it if you want to see more please subscribe and as always i'm steven from tech magnet and i'll catch you in the next one have a nice day and bye